Hi guys, this is Neha and welcome back to Target Study YouTube channel. Today we are here with details of one such medical professional whose need and demand is ever increasing with every passing day, thanks to the increasing materialization and race to excel right from the birth. It is quite right that we have made new development in virtually every field, be it agriculture, technology, industry, or personal lifestyle. But this development has also brought a lot of stress, anxiety, depression, anger, low self-esteem, and mental illness along with it. Thereby, the need of this medical professional called a psychiatrist who could treat these kinds of mental disorders. You have seen our videos on another like professional known as psychologist. Today in this video, I will let you know about various aspects of this particular professional, like who a psychiatrist is, what are the eligibility conditions to become a psychiatrist, how to become a psychiatrist, what are the career prospects and job profile of a psychiatrist, and how much a psychiatrist can expect to earn and much more. Let us start with a very basic and frequently asked question. That is, who a psychiatrist is? So friends, psychiatrists are those medical professionals, or you can say, those specialist doctors who specialize in preventing, diagnosing, and treating mental, emotional, and behavioral disorders with the use of medication, neuromodulation, and psychotherapy. These professionals specialize in mental health, including substances using disorders. So guys, if you are interested to become a psychiatrist, then you must fulfill some eligibility conditions. And the most basic eligibility condition is your educational qualification. If you want to do any specialization in the field of psychiatry, then you need to be an MBBS degree holder first. So MBBS from a MCI Institute following a diploma or PG diploma in psychiatry or MD Psychiatric is the minimum qualification to become a certified psychiatrist in India. There are a lot of viewers who ask us how can they become a psychiatrist. So let me tell you step by step procedure to become a psychiatrist. And the first step towards becoming a psychiatrist is to clear your 12th class in medical stream having physics, chemistry and biology as main subjects at this level. Once you have cleared your 12th class, you need to crack some of the medical entrance exam taken by various institutes to provide admission to MBBS course of some of the reputed medical colleges in India. NEET UG is one such exam which is taken by NTA to provide admission to most of the medical colleges in India. You can watch our already uploaded video on NEET UG to have deep insight of the exam. Once you have completed your five and half year MBBS course, including the necessary internship, you have to go for specialization program in psychiatrist, which can be either a master's, that is MD in psychiatry, which is a three year program, or pursue a diploma in psychiatry medicines program, which is a two year program. Again, for taking admission in master's degree program, you need to crack PG medical entrance exam, like NEET PG, which is accepted by most of the PG medical colleges or INI entrance exam taken by the Institute of National Importance like AIMS and PG to provide admission to their PG psychiatric programs. Once you have attained the necessary specialization, you need to get a license from the state's medical board to practice the profession. Here I would like to tell you that most of the states have their own licensing system and standards, but in general, the student must pass an examination that tests his or her understanding of state rules and medical procedures. State medical councils can provide general psychiatric certification as well as specialities in addiction, adolescent, and forensic psychiatry. For a period of 10 years, board certification is valid. Now let me tell you about some of the important entrance exams that you can take to get admission into PG medical colleges in India. And the most important of all these exams is NEET PG, that is National Eligibility Come Entrance Test for Postgraduate Courses. This exam is taken by National Testing Agency for providing admission to postgraduate courses of most of the medical colleges in India. Other exam is INICET, that is Institute of National Importance Combined Entrance Test. AIMS Delhi conducts this entrance test for admission to PG courses. INICET scores are valid for admission to 12 AIMS including AIMS Delhi, Bhopal, Bhubaneswar, Jodhpur, Patna, Nagpur, Raipur and Rishikesh, 
बठिंडा बीबी नगर देवघर एज वेल एज एन आई एम एच ए एन एस बेंगलुरु जिपमर पुडुचेरी पी जी आई चंडीगढ़ एंड एस सी टी आई एम एस टी त्रिवंद्रम Besides these two entrance exams you can also go for diploma of national board exam and the Central Institute of Psychiatry entrance exam to get admission to various specialized courses in psychiatry Now let me tell you about some of the best PG medical colleges to get your PG degree in psychiatry If you are looking for some of the best government medical colleges then you can go for Postgraduate Institute of Medical Science and Research Chandigarh Ames New Delhi AFMC Pune that means armed forces medical college institute of medical sciences banaras hindu university and molana azad medical college new delhi and if you are looking for some of the best private medical colleges then you can go for christian medical college vellore saint john's medical college bangalore kasturba medical college manipal dayan medical college and hospital ludhiana and kims bangalore etc Now you would like to know about the career prospects and job opportunities after becoming a psychiatrist. Those who have a psychiatric degree can expect good employment opportunities thanks to increasing mental tension and stress in the society. Psychiatry offers a wide range of job opportunities within its sub-specialties. They can work with the private, public and government clinics and hospitals, nursing homes, health centers, polyclinic and medical colleges. research institutes ngos and occupational therapists for the rehabilitation of their parents etc or can set up their own private clinics and work as a counselor in rehabilitation centers dealing with drug addiction alcoholism and mental problems some of the job profiles of psychiatrist can be child and adolescent psychiatrist forensic psychiatrist clinical psychiatrist staff psychiatrist prison psychiatrist behavioral specialist and neuropsychiatrist now you would like to know how much does a psychiatrist earn as a psychiatrist the starting salary can range between rupees 40000 to rupees 50000 per month after gaining experience and a dedicated work a psychiatrist can earn a salary package between rupees 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh per month depending on the area where you work and experience the salary will vary from one organization to the other in private sectors The salary package is much higher than the government sector. At the end, I would like to tell you the difference between psychologist and psychiatrist. As many people get confused in that. So here it is. Psychiatrist make a diagnosis of illness, deal with treatment, prescribe medicines, and provide a range of therapies for complex and serious mental illness. In short, we can say psychiatrist treat mental issues through medication. Whereas Psychologists focus on providing psychotherapy and they treat them with therapies like talking to them and hearing them out. So guys I hope that the information provided in this video will be of the great help to you. We will be back with such informative videos till then stay healthy and stay safe and don't forget to like this video and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.